I think we all smiled when Forrest Gump said life is like a box of chocolate because we can all relate to it. And sometimes we're excited about what we're going to get and we pick it up and we bite into it and it's that gooey stuff that fills your mouth and that's so incredibly unpleasant. And life can be like that but far more unpleasant than just a taste that we get in our mouth. Sometimes we get handed divorce papers because a spouse is going through a midlife crisis or economic situations are different and we get retrenched from our jobs or a loved one gets diagnosed with a deadly disease. These things can be really painful and when we watch a large group of people, interestingly, almost every second or third person has gone through some kind of calamity in their life. And sometimes we see the story written on their faces and sometimes we wouldn't know the difference because they just get on with it and that's what happens life keeps moving and we keep going but some people feel that this thing that has happened to them they get so upset they take it so personally it's as though they hold a grudge against life itself that how dare you have done this to me and then they hold themselves in a kind of this victim role Therefore, Puja Gurudev Swami Chinmayananda used to say, declare yourself a non-victim. For sure, in that point in time, we might have been a victim to circumstances or to another person's selfishness, but we don't have to stay a victim. We can let it go and we can once again start to enjoy the sunshine or the birds chirping. We can let that incident pass and we can reconnect with all the goodness in our lives, with the beauty that there is there in the world. We can even find treasures within ourselves that we have become enhanced because of what we've gone through. When we declare ourselves a non-victim, we become free.